all so much for attending. The first step towards recovery is admittance, and I recognize your bravery and want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I am here to help every single one of you. Now let's start by going around the room and stating why we're here. Hi everyone, I'm Riley, um, and I'm here because up until this point, I've been so alone. That wasn't always the case. I used to have real friends, real conversations, and love. But I distanced myself by letting emoticons take over my life. My boyfriend left me after I replaced all physical contact with smiley faces over text message. It started on AIM, the heavy use of emoticons, and just kept getting worse. Until all my social networking and email accounts were made up of no texts, but just semicolons and parentheses. I only wish I noticed what they were doing to me before it was too late. Riley, thank you so much for sharing your story. And it is not too late, you are only 17. You just used your words beautifully. No emoticons, just real emotions. Thank you. Now who wants to go next? Hi. Hi. My name is Jody, um, but up until a week ago, um, I was going by semicolon dash uppercase P, um, also known as mischievous winking smiley face. That's right. <laughs> I was using emoticons so heavily that I couldn't even identify myself without one. Do you guys know how hard it was for my mom to call me to dinner? After a week of writing it on paper, she just gave up. We had turned our family upside down. At one point she said, Jody, you are not the artist formerly known as Prince, you are our daughter. And I will be damned if I let our daughter go by a symbol rather than the name that her, your father and I picked out to honor your great aunt. That's when I knew that this problem was bigger than myself. Jody. Thank you so much for sharing your story and your battle with emoticons with us. We are here for you and we will not let them take over your life. We will not. That story was really uh, inspirational, Jody, and it gives me the strength to share my own battle that I've had with the, uh, the demon that we used to lovingly refer to as emoticons. I realized I had a serious problem when I wrote a novel in all emoticons. I showed it to my English teacher and she laughed. She said, can you show me a first draft or give me a synopsis? I can't really tell what it's about based off this. And I think if you're serious about this book, you will at least need some words mixed in with these smiley faces to call it a novel. And at first I got really upset because I thought it's not a smiley face, it's a flirty smiley face. Pay attention to the details. You know, but then I realized after a couple days of really thinking about it that, that she was right. And by that point I couldn't even remember what the story I was supposed to be writing was about. It was 300 pages long. And I'm never going to get those four months of my life back. So now, I just said goodbye forever to emoticons. Oh, you will never ruin my life or my creative endeavors, you smiley face. Kate, you are a beautiful, talented young woman, and you will write hundreds of books in your lifetime. Riley, Jody, Kate... Together we will get through this. You've taken the first step and I'm here to help. Now say it with me, girls. Emoticons are the devil's work. Emoticons are the devil's work. Emoticons are the devil's work. Yes, yes, that felt good. Thank you. Now on to phase two of recovery. Trust falls. Jody. <laughs> 